Good morning, Quadcopter101. And before we get started, let's get the shout outs today. Today's sh shout outs out of the way today. Today's shout outs goes to Jaden Kassar and Kalon Francique. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Kalon Francique. Uh, but those were both were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus they win a shout out. So congratulations to both of you. What have I got for you today? Today we're not reviewing a drone. Today we're reviewing a Wi-Fi repeater. This is the new Comfast uh, CFWR371AC. Now Comfast, what, what do I, why am I interested in a repeater? Well, this repeater does both 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz, which means this works with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Why am I interested in 802.11 AC Wi-Fi? Well, a lot of the newer drones that are out there today that use um, FPV are, have been uh, coming out with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi capability. Why do they do that? Well, it doesn't interfere with 2.4 gigahertz of your controller. And as such, you can usually get much greater range than you can get with a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi FPV flyer. However, there's still some limited distances that you can fly. Uh, with that 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. In particular, this drone here, the Bugs 2 uh, W, um, the maximum range that I was able to get FPV reception was about 350 meters. Um, I was starting to get, I'd start to get break up about 150 to 200 meters. So, you know, it's a good Wi-Fi flyer, except, you know, the range, the maximum range you're gonna get with this particular drone, at least the maximum range that I get with this particular drone, is 350 meters and that doesn't um you know i also looked at a previous uh repeater a previous version of the comfast repeater uh, it's the the 370 version the wr370 ac and that one did not give me much greater range however this one this one's different than the the one that i reviewed pre previously this one has two antennas here supposedly with antenna switching so wh whatever antenna is supposedly doing the best job of receiving and transmitting that's the one that's going to be automatically selected by the repeater and that will change and swap off as we're flying along uh, supposedly <laughs> to provide improved range you know and we're going to see today if i can get greater than 350 meters if i can get, go further than 350 meters with this today and still get fpv then this thing's working <laughs> okay so we're going to try it out so hope you enjoy this flight let me go over the, the i didn't go over this train <laughs> repeater yet now, you have to be very careful when ordering these things. Uh, Confast also makes another device, which is not a repeater. It's a, a dongle that enables you to get Wi-Fi on your laptop. It, it looks almost exactly like this. But again, it is not a repeater. Um, and it won't work as such, unfortunately. This one is a repeater. So what you need, again, to look for in the uh, uh, serial for this particular uh, device is cf wr wr 371 ac okay make sure that r is in <laughs> in the uh, specification here in fact there it is right there model the model number is cf wr 371 ac so make sure you got that wr there <laughs> okay and i'm not sure if the ac at the end means it's um, 5g capable probably does 802.11 ac so okay Let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I have the Comfast repeater connected to the drone, and I have my phone connected to the repeater. That's the way it works, folks. Um, the phone goes to the repeater, the repeater retransmits its signal and uh, sends it to the quadcopter. And the same goes in the reverse direction. The signal goes from the quadcopter to the repeater to my phone, okay? And again, this will be looking for the best signal between the two and try to connect and transmit over that frequency or using that antenna. Now, the proper use of a repeater, uh, first off, notice I need to use a power supply with it, and I got this power bank attached to it. You can use just about any power bank with these. But uh, the proper use, <laughs> you should put this out along the intended route of flight. Now, I'm going to be flying toward the mountains today. I'm not going to put it out 100 meters or something like that. Um, the idea is you can get extended range because you put this down along the intended uh, direction of travel. And uh, that is how, 
you get extra range. But what I'm hoping for is that these repeater antenna uh, will also um, compensate for the distance, uh, providing extra distance in addition to the distance that we get from by moving it over here. So let's go back over to where I'm going to take off from. I just moved it over there. Another reason you want to move it away from your phone is because the two of them can't are both transmitted on uh, 802.11 AC on your phone and the repeater can interfere with each other. So put a little distance between it. Okay, we are should be good to go. Uh, let's get it into the air first off. All right, starting the motors, giving it a throttle. Now before takeoff here, I had calibrated the, um, actually it looks like I might need more some, some more calibration there, hold on. I want to see how steady it is in the wind. Got a little bit of a wind from the left here. But I want to do a recalibration. Hold on, folks. Eh, maybe not. Maybe that's just the wind hitting it. I got some wind coming from that direction. So, okay, starting the video. We're actually switching to video camera. And starting the video. Recording is started. And going up a bit higher. And a little bit higher. And up on we go. Let's see if I can, what type of distance I get here. Now I'm getting the distance off of my controller here. Right now I'm 39 meters out. Going up higher. 77 meters out. And 114 meters out. Still got good FPV. 163 meters out. 224 meters out. Let's plop it there, and I still have signal. Okay, let's go a little further out, pushing forward, going up a bit higher. 269 meters. Do I still got FPV? I still got FPV. 300 meters. And it's starting to get choppy here. Letting go of the stick for a second. And... Looking in the sky, I see it. So let's go a little further. We're 323 meters out right now, folks. Uh, I still got FPV, so let's see if we can go past 350. Pushing forward. Pushing forward. 351. Letting go of the stick. 376 meters. But I'm not seeing any more FPV. <laughs> it seems to have frozen. Unfortunately, you know, again, Okay, there, I got some FPV. Let's see if I can go a little bit further out. Pushing forward again. And 405 meters, 420 meters. Letting go of the stick. And I'm not seeing FPV return. I'm going to turn it to the right a bit, folks. Turn it to the right. And I'm not receiving FPV again. Pushing forward. I'm at the edge of range. I'm trying to fly back uh, by a line of sight. I do see it off in the distance there. Turning to the right. I don't know if it's coming back or not. Let me check the, let me plop it there. 414, it is coming back. So the number's getting lower. So, you know, I was able to get out about another 50 meters max. Uh, not much improvement. Unfortunately, <laughs> turning to the right a bit. So we still have yet to see a um, Wi-Fi repeater similar that pr will provide performance similar to the uh, Mi repeater with dual antennas. I think the difference between these Comfast repeaters and the Mi is that the Mi does have an amplifier into, in it also. At least it, adds, it advertises that it has amplification capability of the Wi-Fi signal. I don't think the Confast repeaters do. I, you know, this one does have dual antennas, uh, but and automatic switching, but it does not seem to have uh, that capability of amplification. And right now, I'm not getting back any signal. I'm flying this manually, line of sight, folks. I need to turn to the left a bit. <laughs> 
And some folks are asked, will probably ask, how do you fly 400 meters line of sight? Well, all I'm doing is seeing a dot in the sky. This is true, but it's a very important skill for beginner flyers that, that they should learn, and that is how to uh, bring your quadcopter back when it's way out there, just a dot in the sky. And the way I do that, folks, let's bring it in and I'll show you that. Bring it down closer. Is when I'm way out there in the distance, let's pop it right there and I'll explain it. When I'm way out there in the distance, I'll, let's say, say the quadcopter is pointing in that direction while it's off in the distance, point it to my left. If I give it forward pitch, I should notice off in the distance that the drone is moving to my left. So all I need to do to bring it back to me is slowly turn left while I'm pushing forward on the stick. And eventually, the drone will fly back in my direction. When I notice that the movement stops going to the left, it should be coming back in my direction. The same way if the quadcopter is pointed off to the right, say it's pointed off to the right in some direction at an angle, and I push forward, I should notice right movement. And all I need to do to bring the drone back to me is keep turning it to the right, keep turning it to the right, until that rightward movement stops and stops going in, starts going in the other direction. And then that tells me it's flying back in my general direction again. So that's a very important, but easy to learn skill. So that's something you should practice, folks. Okay, let's land this thing. We're gonna call it quits. Well, let's see if I can get it on the pad. Get on the pad. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> so what did we learn today, folks? Let me stop the recording. Um, we got about 50 meters extra distance, and I think that's because I put the uh, repeater a little bit not in my line of sight or in the direction of travel. So I think this is how we got that extra distance, folks, is moving it down here. I probably could have got a little bit, maybe another 100 meters by putting it down 100 meters out, in fact. But... I'm not going to do that. You know, I don't have time. I think the battery's getting low, but I think that's our main additional distance here was because I moved this down here. Now, the limitation of this Comfast, again, I don't think it has an amplifier in it. I don't think it's amplifying the signal. You know, we do have antenna switching, which probably provides improved reception, but um, no amplification of the signal going back or coming in the other direction. So that's why, you know, um, I think the Comfast repeaters don't perform the same as the Mi repeater does. So, And unfortunately, until somebody comes out with a uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, repeater that also amplifies the signal, um, you know, I, I can't recommend using this versus just flying directly uh, with your phone. So, hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101. Setting up. Okay, I thought it over. I still have some battery power left on that drone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this repeater about 100 meters down along my intended uh, flight route. Right about here. Let me go a little further. We'll take it over to here. And we'll see if uh, we can go past that 400 meters. Okay. So putting the repeater up. Yeah, I'm guessing we're about, about 100 meters, something like that. And aiming the antennas if that really matters I don't know let me go back to the car and we'll launch it again and see if that provides uh, increased range okay we still have three bars of battery that's why I'm trying this starting the uh, video recording again and starting the motors Let's see down and in there we go take it to the air let's try it again this time with my repeater about 100 meters away from our takeoff position Looking at the signal, 120 meters out. Oh, that's signal already. We're going to stop it right there, folks. That didn't seem to help, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Pushing forward again. 250. Oh, that signal again. And I think it's... Here, let me get a little closer to that repeater. Nope, that didn't seem to help it. I'm calling it quits here, folks. In fact, the signal's getting weaker. So let's see if I can bring it back again. Line of sight, moving to the right. It's moving to the right off in the distance, turning right slowly, turning right, turning right, 
Continue my turn right, increasing the turn right. Okay, the turn is stopped and it's slightly moving to the left, but I'm gonna, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna, it's still moving to the left, gonna get a little left turn and it's flying straight back, a little more left turn and more or less it's coming straight back to me. Again, this is without return to home. <laughs> okay, this is a very important skill to learn. Okay, bringing it down, bringing it down. There's the drone up in the sky, turning and coming down. Yeah, just about anybody could fly long distance. As long as you can maintain line of sight on that drone, you should be able to bring it back to you very easily. Okay, we're coming back. The Bugs 2. Bugs 2 is a neat drone. I kind of still kind of like this drone, particular drone. But uh, I don't recommend it for beginners, though. It, you know, it is a brushless drone, and people can hurt themselves <laughs> with this. It hurt property. Let's see. So that didn't seem to help it, but I, I did it just because people would be complaining. I'm moving that out 100 meters did not seem to help it much. In fact, it got worse. I don't know why. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this quadcopter 101. Signing out. Thank <laughs> you.